Hi, I'm Eleanor Silverstein, and welcome to the Feldenkrais Guild of North America Conference Series. Our theme this year is breath, and the series will be running live September 6th, the 27th, and October 18th, 2024. Today, I'm here with my dear friend and colleague, Anna Haltrecht, and she uh, is, I think, taking a theme from Ruthie Alon's um, classes and lessons on uh, using the fabric or the sheets. And if I'm wrong, correct me, but I love it because this is what we have learned together side by side for so many years. And the title of her workshop is called Rings and Sheets, Connecting the Sphincters to the Breath. Please talk about my favorite subject. Ruthie Alon. <laughs> Thank you, Eleanor. Yes, we, we Ruthie Alon was a favorite person to follow around the world. And uh, I discovered um, through my trainings with Ruthie that she taught a workshop in Berkeley in 1983, which happened to be right after when she came and taught in my training. My, she was in the first part of my training in 1983, and she went off to Berkeley and she taught an advanced training about the sphincters. So Ruthie often talked about the sphincters in her work and I've just been following along. And uh, then I investigated a little more and it's I, I've been in, intrigued by the work that she did in this particular workshop. And when the conference theme came up as breath, I thought, well, sphincters and breath, it's just a great a great connection, a great way to get in touch with our breath and the sphincters is through each of them to find how we be can become a, a whole person. As Ruthie always said, we need to connect parts of ourselves, differentiate parts of ourselves to become connected as a whole. But the but why the, the, the but the title is rings. So rings is the sphincter, representing the sphincter muscles, sheets is actually, I chose as the word to represent the diaphragm and the breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, very good. And so that's where her series, you'll be pulling from that series and creating with us. Is there yes. anything that the students will need to know or to be prepared for for the class? Will it be done sitting, lying, anything specific? Many, many movements. We we will start some doing some a little bit standing, lying, sitting on the floor, sitting in a chair, standing, really going through all possible movements. So we're going to start out quite small, delicately, because the sphincters, the, it's, we're with the sphincters and the function of the sphincters and the breath, of course, all the time, every day. But we're tuning in on a very deep inner level. So we'll start out very inner inside ourselves, and uh, then progress into bigger movement or movement and then very functional movement that we do daily to find out how we can upgrade our movements, become more connected and whole. And we'll even do a little dance both an inner dance and more outer dance. Of course. Of and, course. and the transformation. So that that's very important. The transformation from sitting to standing to walking and to feel how the sphincters, and specifically the sphincters of the face and the lower sphincters. So sphincters that we can voluntarily control. Wow. And one would assume that the others will follow suit, the other sphincters. It was exactly, you read my mind, I was exactly going to say that when we improve and focus and deepen our inner organization of our, of one thing sphincter or a few sphincters that will have an effect on all the inner sphincters that we don't have as much control over, but are very important wow. for systems, digestive, urinary, 
and respiratory systems. Thank you so much, Anna. This is life-changing for so many people. I appreciate it. And looking forward to seeing you when you come to teach at the conference. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to it too. I'm quite excited. I've been playing around with these ideas for quite a while and with my uh, clientele and my students and they really find it very, very potent. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Very good.